Out of various treatment options available for this male pattern hair loss, Finasteride is a very common medication which has been prescribed and also it is a very effective treatment for this male pattern hair loss. However, people have lot of reservation about this medication because of associated side effects they read about it when they search in the internet. And uh, in our day to day practice also have encountered many questions, many doubts regarding this medications. So in this video, I will clarify what are the commonly asked questions regarding the medication so that you will have a better clarity about these medications. Hi, this is Dr. Alok. I am a dermatologist and hair restoration surgeon. I deal with both medical and surgical aspect of hair restoration. So people used to have lot of queries and confusion and also phobia about these medications and they have lot of queries regarding this. So I have enlisted all the queries. So I will discuss one by one in details so that you will have a better understanding about these medications. So coming to question number one. So how does it work? Male pattern hair loss is because of two factors. One is hormone. So there is the active form of testosterone there is a DST and second is genetic. So testosterone get converted into active form known as DST or dihydrotestosterone. That gives a negative signal to the hair those who have a tendency to become bald. So finasteride what it causes? It causes inhibition in the conversion of testosterone to this DST form. Again. Uh, this blockage of enzyme by this medication is not complete, it is about 70%. So, it not affecting your hormone level, it indirectly affecting the active form of this hormone is the DST which is very crucial at the tissue level which affects the negative impact would also affect the growth of this hair over the balding zone. So, if we will come to the efficacy of this medication out of various treatment options, this is the only medication which is acting at your DST level. So, it causes three things. First, it stabilizes the hair loss. Second, it increases the thickness of the hair growth. The thin miniaturized hair of the balding hair become more thick and become more dark. Third thing, it also increases volume and also reactivate your dormant root. By doing so, along with halting of this baldness, it also helps in improving the density of the balding area. The side effects that have been described with these medications are like decrease in the sexual drive that we call a libido, unable to sustain erection for a longer period of time, decrease in the semen volume and sometimes people also have reported like low mood, also sometimes gynecomastia like swelling in the breast, male breast, uh, sometimes periolar numbness. But people are more concerned about this sexual related side effect. Let's discuss in details what are the how common it is. So like every medication that you take, it has some effect and also some side effect. So various studies have found that have been done under Indian populations that if you will see out of 100 populations, so genuine side effect that people used to have encountered is like 1 or 2 percent. That means out of 100, 98 are completely normal. Second thing is even if suppose you are in that subgroup and you develop this side effect. So is it permanent? Answer is no. because. So this is a medication. So when we take this medication, it goes inside our body and it has some storage in our tissue level. But after some time, it get eliminated various form like through liver, through kidney. So if you see the half life of this medication, it's about 30 days. Once the medication get washed away from your body, so it is completely reversible. So the side effect is not going to permanent. Third thing is this medication what we prescribe for this male pattern baldness is 1 milligram. So originally this medication were prescribed for a male for a condition known as benign prostatic hypertrophy. So those having a, there is a prostate gland increased in size for that this medication is used and this is prescribed as a higher dose that is 5 mg. At high dose at 5 mg people used to have reported such side effect but if you see at 1 mg that is being prescribed for this male pattern baldness side effect profile is very very less and even if somebody developed this side effect this is completely reversible. Again in another situation that what we have observed suppose you have developed this side effect you stop the medication in a period of few weeks or uh, one month you will be completely normal. So people used to have a negative effect like you have read something about this medication you have the side effect you have a negative thirds. So they start encountering a psychologically side effect that in the medical term was a nocebo effect you have a negative impression about the medications and when you start taking this medication you start encountering such type of side effect which is not true. So this is a psychological side effect this is not a genuine side effect. So you should not be bothered about this medication 
medication because this medication has been prescribed for last 20 years yeah, it has a long safety profile it has been fda approved so anybody above 18 years of can take this medication safely coming to this even after with these things if you are not convinced you are this uh, and you are still having phobia about these medications so what you can do you can start taking very low dose so we have observed that some people develop the side effect then we stop this medication then we start very low dose like instead of taking one milligram daily you take it alternate day maybe to start with twice a week then gradually gradually increase this dose to have a one mg per day so that you may not develop again this type of side effects. So with time it has been observed that the side effects also used to get subsided.